Hey ladies and gents and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance with Mags. So a couple of months ago I put out a poll in the community section of my YouTube channel asking if anyone would be interested in seeing me play an RPG, just for something a little bit different. 1,500 of you responded and the answer was most certainly yes, but the only question was which one. Since I have a channel that seems to be relatively devoted to simulation at this point in time, why not the RPG that has been described as being the best medieval simulator ever created? And by God is it beautiful to look at. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorch. <laughs> Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, is our parents. Now, in Kingdom Come Deliverance, you do not create your own character. You'll be playing the role of Henry, son of the blacksmith and a pretty typical 18-year-old. Likes to drink, likes to party, and likes to get into fights. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. <sighs> get up or I'll come get you up. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. I don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. And this is way too close to being real. I cannot tell you how many times I had almost that exact conversation with my parents at that age. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? And here we have our first dialogue options. Now in this particular set of dialogue options, depending on which one we pick, we'll get a bonus in that particular area, allowing us some limited early character customization. I was with Bianca. We were, um, talking? Talking, were you? That's what you call it, is it? Now if I had ever told my mother that I was talking with well, my girlfriend, I that would have been the end of the conversation you're not right there. Me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it, then. I can't stop you. And you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. And so we get our first quest to go and meet our father the blacksmith and see what help he needs crafting a very special sword. Anyways, for those of you unfamiliar with Kingdom Come Deliverance, Kingdom Come Deliverance is a historical RPG based in Bohemia in 1403. And it's based at least loosely on real life events. The old king of Bohemia, who was pretty much loved by everybody, has passed away and his son became king. The problem was, his son was a bit of a dickhead. Didn't care much about the kingdom, its people, or the politics involved around it, and so, of course, medieval politics happened. The king of Hungary, Sigismund, captured the young prince and dethroned him, and then began a campaign to capture all of Bohemian lands. And our story takes place not long after the start of this invasion and this war. But for the moment, the large-scale politics don't matter to us too much. First, we've got to get past our dad. What's the matter with you, Henry? 
Didn't you hear me calling? All right, so the persuasion system. We basically have three key stats here. Speech, social status, and intimidation. Now, our scores are 173. We don't know what our fathers are. So I'm going to pick social because it's our highest Sorry, number. Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. And I love the fourth How wall break there. Boy, when are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from a charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. And our first major quest. Now, this is a little bit of a fetch quest to start off with, but what it's designed to do is to take you into three different areas where you're going to be playing around with three different sets of skills that you're going to have to learn through the core of the game. So, we need charcoal and we need beer for our father, but in order to get the charcoal, we need money, which we've got to get from Kunish. You know that bloke that's constantly borrowing things and never paying you back and constantly getting into fights? Well, that's Kunish. I'll be with you, Kunish. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. All right, so we'll try and be diplomatic here. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Yeah, all right. You're starting to push my buttons here, Kanesh. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. And so we get into our first combat tutorial, and... Uh, ow. Uh, the combat system in Kingdom Come uh, Deliverance is relatively complex in comparison to other uh, RPGs, but missed. once you get used to it, it makes a lot of sense. The key you're looking for is a balance of health and stamina that you have on your lower bar, and the five-pointed star, which is the direction you're going to be attacking in. The left-hand side of the star is obviously left attacks, right from right. The up point is an attack from above, left and right is left and right low, and the center circle is to do a strike to the center of the target. You have a strong and a weak attack option, as well as a block option, and by selecting back and forth between different points, you will be able to set up combos. At least once you have the skill to actually use them, and that's another thing that's different about the systems in Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's actually using a rather old style of RPG advancement. Rather than simply going out to kill or fight enemies, earning XP and then using that XP to spend on new abilities in order to skill up, if you want to get better at anything in Kingdom Come Deliverance, you have to actually do it. You want to be a better fist fighter? You better get into a lot of fist fights. You want to become a better sword fighter? You better get into a lot of sword fights. And the same goes with every other skill in the game. Your character improves by doing rather than earning a set amount of XP and then just spending it to improve your skills at whichever places you would prefer. Now, most fist fights don't last this long. This particular fight is deliberately drawn out. One, so you have a chance to actually practice these skills. And also, so you can earn new levels in your main level and in unarmed. However, once you spend enough time beating the hell out of Kanish, he finally yields. Enough! Enough! 
I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? All right, so we've got the keys to Kunish's house. So first we'll grab his axe and then we'll take a little bit of a look around to see what else he has. Which unfortunately, as it turns out, is bugger all. His house is actually quite a bit of a dump. But we do find this chest and we're able to recover the hammer and the nails. So while we don't have money, we now do have something we can sell. So let's go haggle ourselves a deal with the charcoal merchant. And here he is standing in the center of the town, or at least his helper. The main charcoal burner is currently a bit occupied to talk to us, but we're all good to go here. So we need 10 pieces of charcoal for a start, and then we need to work out exactly how much this is going to cost us and whether or not what we've just got from Kunish is actually going to be enough to pay for it. So now we're selling, we need to get rid of the axe, the hammer, and the nails. Now in total, this is actually not going to be quite enough. We're going to be 0.1 short. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? Thankfully, we are a pretty well-liked young lad, so if we pull back the price by just that one point, I'm sure the bloke will be willing to cut a deal. Finally, a reasonable sum. And so ends the haggling tutorial. Now, just like all the other skills in the game, if you want to get better at it, you need to spend time doing it. But haggling is one of those things where your social standing also comes into play. So the clothes that you're wearing and your general cleanliness does become involved. This is where the game's systems start getting very complex very quickly. Now, our next stop should, of course, be the pub, but something? there's somebody else here that we know. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? No, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So... Are you ready to get stuck in? Something that's potentially dangerous, it's guaranteed yes. to piss off our parents? Absolutely. Alright, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Now, the sheepfold is a small house and pen that's just up the hill that also serves as a fighting arena so we can start doing the sword fighting tutorial. However, Henry's meant to be keeping this a secret from his parents, right? Because they don't approve of him learning to sword fight, right? Well, that house there, right next to where we're going to be doing the training, that's your house. This is the equivalent of trying to keep the fact that you're getting drunk with your mates from your parents while getting drunk in your next door neighbor's backyard. So, can we get started? Honestly, if we had any sense, we would be going somewhere else, but we can. Let's do this. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Alright, so Very the well. sword fighting in Kingdom Let's Come Deliverance the works in exactly the same Keep way moving. as the boxing your does. The main difference here is you also run counters. If your opponent swings in exactly the same direction that you're swinging and the two swords meet, you will block in addition to using the standard right, block command. Right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. So a big part of this is watching what your opponent is doing with their sword and setting up to either counter it or to try and make right. an attack where they're not blocking. Good. Now the interesting part about the sword fighting right. here is yeah. it is at nice. very least loosely Fine. based on real medieval techniques. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. There are, of course, limitations on this, considering that you are using a keyboard and mouse or a controller of some form to actually control yourself rather than just moving. And the animations, of course, have their own limitations. But as a representation of real medieval sword combat, it's probably one of the better ones. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Very good. All right. Now controlling your stamina in combat is very important. Each attack you perform costs you stamina. Every time you block, it costs you stamina. And every time you take a hit, 
it will cost you stamina. Lose too much and you'll start taking blows or could potentially just get knocked out. Anyways, that is the end of the sword fighting tutorial. But I'm tired of bursting. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Now there is a reason why I'm going over all of these now in the very first episode. One, it saves me having to explain some of the mechanics in future videos, but also everything here is so beautifully and seamlessly designed. The whole point of all of this is not only to teach you how to play the game, but also to make it very clear what your life is like. So next up, we have the Tavern, otherwise known as Medieval Reddit. And today's subject, politics. You can't be serious, George. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope. God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche Spalian shit. What? Just listen, and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. What do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. And that makes your mates over here the Reddit trolls. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You too, I love you. Should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. You think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But doing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratic's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. Yep. Reddit trolls. So, how? Are you with us? Yeah, why not? Trolling can be fun from time to time. Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Now, on second thought, this may not have been the smartest idea. You see, we're only about 20 metres away from the tavern. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Now that almost sounds like a compliment, except for the fact that these are your mates, and the wife is sitting right outside looking directly at you. So two out of three here are not exactly high achievers. What do you want, lad? And sometimes the best way to get results is to just tell the truth. I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, 
Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the Popes. He might have mentioned the Popes too. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. I just yep. hope Wanna I can get a catch husband in trouble? Tell the wife. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! Eat shit, doshas. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? Remember the son that was mentioned before? Hey, Hans. Here he comes. Now you see, we're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! Now this fight is entirely optional, we could have avoided it by simply not going to troll with our mates, but essentially what this is for is your first group fight and a test to see exactly how much of the fighting mechanics you manage to pick up. Need to back off a little bit here, I've blown through my stamina, I'll need to let it rebuild. And that's one down. And that is two. Now, I don't know about the third one, but uh, Mummy Dearest has just gotten back, so it's time to get out of here. Now, the escape path here is to run around the outside of the town and come back in near the main gate. And there is absolutely no way we should ever have gotten away with this, because this town is simply not big enough for it. Still, with our trolling side adventure here complete, it's time to get back around to the tavern, pick up our ale, maybe see our girlfriend, and head back up to the forge in order to finally complete this sword that our father's been working on. But we'll leave that and the start of the real story of Kingdom Come Deliverance for the next video. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. As always, remember to check the video description down below for links to all of my social media, my Twitch, my Discord if you would like to come and join, and my Patreon and subscribe star if you would like to help support the channel directly. And as always, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you would like to see more and you haven't done so already. And as always, until next time, take care.